Hey YouTube, welcome back to Fear Fanatics, where we bring you some of the scariest videos found on the web. This is Creepy Kelson filling in for Duck tonight, so let's get right into it. Number 5. Creepy Clown Sighting Two friends recorded this video in 2016 at 7.30 a.m. while out for their morning run. As they're running, they stop when one of the boys sees what looks like a clown on a footbridge they need to cross. After turning on their camera phone to record the incident, they decide to confront the clown on the bridge. Yo, what the f*** are you doing, man? It's 7.30 in the morning. Have you heard about all this shit? People are freaking out about this. That's when they notice the clown has a knife in his hand and starts chasing the boys. Yo, Patrick, he has a knife. Dude, what? What the fuck? What the f Real or fake? You decide. Number four. The Haunted Horton Mine. In 2013, explorer Frank, who uploads his videos to his YouTube channel, Exploring Abandoned Mines in Unusual Places, went to check out the abandoned Horton Mine in Nevada. He states, I had a startling encounter with the supernatural while exploring the abandoned Horton Mine, located near the massive Victorian mine in Nevada. The Horton Mine dates back to the mid-1800s. I've been inside over a hundred abandoned mines, but this one was definitely the creepiest. As I ventured cautiously down the tunnel, it felt more and more wrong. You'll see in the video the supernatural occurrence that caused me to ultimately turn around and head back out of that tunnel. Uh, here's a shot looking back towards the entrance. I'm a little bit further in. And uh, looking down the tunnel here. In the video, when Frank turns around to look toward the back of the tunnel, a few of the chains hanging from the ceiling are swinging wildly, as if something or someone has just ran through them to hide at the back. I don't know why that one chain is swinging back there. I don't know if you can see that in the video or not. Frank seems pretty freaked out about the chains and says the tunnel is simply too wet and too muddy to go any further. Yeah, this mine definitely has a very spooky vibe to it. So I'm gonna head back out and check out the other stuff that's here. This is just too wet, and too muddy. Um, was that the real reason Frank didn't go any further? Or was it because the Horton mine had terrified him so much he had to turn around and leave? Would you go any further? Or would you run as fast as you could from the abandoned haunted Horton mine? Number three. Unknown entity caught on camera. This footage was taken in May of 2019. The uploader of this video, Cody, claims this footage is real and he has not been altered in any way. He claims he was home alone when odd things started happening. Lights started flickering and sounds came from inside like things being moved around. He dismissed the events at first because he thought it was simply an electrical issue until he heard the water running in his bathroom. He hears noises coming from the kitchen and discovers a couple of chairs have been moved. Then a bedroom door appears to close on its own. He's feeling freaked out at this point and goes outside to call his girlfriend. Before going back inside the house, he starts recording again. He sees the chairs overturned and the cabinet doors are open. This scares him so badly, he runs back outside for a while before summoning the courage to return inside to see if anyone is in the house. No one's there. Later that evening, after going through the footage, Cody notices something staring at him from the top of the bedroom doorway. Is this just a hoax Cody pulled off with a Halloween mask? Or is this an unknown entity caught on camera?
we'll let you be the judge. Number two. Scary creature. Anton Shevenko and some of his friends were exploring some woods in Russia in 2016 when they came across what looks like to be an abandoned mine shaft. The video is short, but the chills are huge. As Anton approaches the mine shaft, they're recording down into the darkness when something catches his eye. What looks to be an unknown scary creature is looking back at him. Anton is jolted upon seeing the creature and he nearly drops his phone. He and his friends are so shocked at the sight that they make a mad dash to escape whatever is inside the mine. The creature is pale with glowing blue eyes and a gaping mouth. Is this CGI or a friend in a mask? Or is this really a cryptid like a rake or some other kind of unknown scary creature? Nobody really knows. Number one. Abandoned Asylum. In this video from the Explorer Returns channel on YouTube, Connor travels to the abandoned asylum to do a paranormal investigation at 1 a.m. all alone. After going under a fence with pointed tops with his gear and navigating a much easier fence, Connor starts looking for a way inside the building. He ignores the sign reading, Dangerous Building, Keep Out. All the doors to the building are locked and all the windows are covered in a metal sheeting. All but one that has been pried open by someone else. Connor climbs through the window with his gear and begins exploring. It Only just. It took me a couple of attempts. I tried to get all my stuff up afterwards. Oh, dear me. Oh, my goodness, this is weird. Nine minutes and 20 seconds into the video, Connor thinks he hears shuffling. I think he did too, as you'll soon see. I'm pretty sure I just heard shuffling. Oh, I can't know if I can do this or not. Spray paint can be seen in the background that reads, You will die soon, and she is here. This is definitely a creepy location. At 1019, Connor looks up a staircase. What is this? Is it someone looking down at him? He doesn't react, so maybe it's just part of the railing. Or maybe it isn't. Connor goes back into one of the huge rooms of the asylum and sets up a GoPro to film his EMF detector while he goes exploring. I wish he would have set the camera up to film the other side of the room, since this is where something sinister is captured on film without Connor knowing as he leaves the room. As Connor is rounding the corner, he's worried about leaving his GoPro and EMF detector, since he doesn't know if he's alone. He doesn't want someone to steal it. We don't explore. I'm worried that uh, people might come in while I'm upstairs and steal my stuff. He's right about one thing. He isn't alone. Let's watch. He doesn't even notice the man in black standing just to the left of the staircase, so he proceeds upstairs. This is scarier than a ghost because this could be a crazy killer for all we know. After upstairs, it sounds like whoever was downstairs is now following Connor, and at 13.02, Connor hears someone behind him while he's filming the bathroom. There we go. Hello? But he doesn't see anyone. After a little more exploring, Connor says he's getting a weird feeling and heads back downstairs the way he came. This time, when he turns to where the man was standing, there's no one there. So the man is indeed following Connor around the abandoned asylum. After retrieving his EMF and GoPro, Connor hears something once again right outside the door where the man was originally standing. Hello? But after going into the hallway to check it out, he sees nothing. Do you want me to leave? Connor tries to do another EMF reading in the room when he hears thuds and a massive bang oh from goodness. upstairs. Oh, 
That's when he grabs his gear and leaves out the window. <sighs> right, we're out. Let's get out of here. I'm done. There's lots of crazy people in this world, so the big takeaway here is there are worse things that can happen to you when exploring abandoned locations alone besides some ghost activity. You have to watch out for actual crazy people. If you like this video, please hit the like button and leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell and you'll never miss another Fear Fanatics video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.